Our customer care policy is listening to the customer, try and find out what they need, and how can we be a part of that solution and a part of their family, their, their business, you know, without being on their payroll. We have a lot of different types of customers, but our salespeople are kind of that first line with the, with the support. They have the greatest relationship with them. And then on the back end, we have multiple different departments to support those needs for the customer. You, you know, we have an IT situation where we can build customer web stores. We have a, a, a group called Strategic Operations Support. So when a salesperson has a large opportunity, they can bring them in at the RFP stage or even further down the line at an actual presentation. That SOS team will work with the salesperson to make sure that they have all the resources they need to secure that business. And then once that's on board, we have you know, dedicated customer service for each salesperson, as well as what we call expanded services, where they may need more you know, care and feeding or handling with that customer. So all those resources are available. But it's really that, that being a part of the team and being a part of the customer. So that's what we say, you know, do you want to do a cost plus program? We can do that. We want to be your employee without being on the payroll. How do we help solve your problems as a part of your solution? Well, you can go back to work. So we say, I got this problem, but you got all these other things to do. Give it to us, we'll take care of it, and we'll bring back some answers for you. We, we meet with marketing people a lot of the time, and they talk about all the little things they have to do, and they can't focus on marketing their company. We want to take those things off their plate. We want their lives to be easier. They obviously are, are working with making their companies successful. They have a lot of, of menial tasks and you know, purchasing product and, and buying things. We want to make sure we are extension of their marketing team while not being on their payroll to make sure that their lives are easier and they can be successful within their business. I say our customers will drag us kicking and screaming into the future, you know, and even like evolving in you know, how we have in a lot of uh, departments and areas, everything we have is some, some way the customer asks for it, you know, and we just give them the answer. We're always watching to see what customers are asking for and then we're trying to stay in front of it. Dad always talks about getting, you know, drug kicking and screaming into the future. Our, our philosophy is changing a little bit. We want to be ahead of that kicking and screaming. We want to be in the future. We're always listening to our salespeople. We're always listening to our customers. They'll tell us what they need. We, that's the one thing that we're very good at is, is reacting to those needs and building that internally. So we are, we're out there looking and we're definitely making sure that we have cutting edge technology tools as well as kind of full blown customer resources. We built a 60,000 square foot distribution center so we could handle pick and pack and fulfillment inside as well as work with hundreds of 3PLs around the country. I always tell my customers saying, I want to be number one on your speed dial. When you have a problem, you hit that, call me and say, here's my problem. And then let me go fix it and figure it out. Because we always say yes. You know, yes, we can. Um, now I get so much static from the wall. I say, now I have to say yes, but. <laughs> yes, we can, but this is how we do it. Or, but let's work on it and let's figure out a solution. But there isn't anything technically that we can't do. I mean, if somebody has a thought out there or thought about it, I think it's doable.